Hey, welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Wednesday, my buddy and I took a trip out to Bailville, Pennsylvania, where my mother actually grew up and used to take me to a flea market. And I have fond memories of buying baseball cards. So we got up pretty early and headed out about two and a half hours away to check out this flea market and also a big antique mall that is about 20 minutes up the road from there that I visited last year and found some pretty awesome stuff. So I'm taking you guys along with me today and I hope you enjoy this experience. And here's a 1991 top set that looks like rats might have chewed on it. Didn't really find too much there, so we decided to head up the road to a place called Reedsville, about 20 minutes away, where there's a big antique mall, and they also host flea markets outdoors every Wednesday.
made some purchases and now we're hitting the road back home so let's go over everything that I came back with all right so I'm back now from the flea market and I want to recap with you everything that I came home with today hopefully you, you enjoyed that video and that first-hand experience but the first thing I'm sure you guys knew I was not going to come home without this the real Ghostbusters paint with water coloring book this was made by Golden in 1990. I could not believe it when I saw this lying on the ground. This is only a buck, and this is one I did not have in my collection already. They made tons of real Ghostbusters novelty stuff. Uh, it's nearly impossible to really own all of it. It's almost like every single day I'll see things that I never knew existed. So I was pretty excited to come across this. This is really something that doesn't really even pop up on eBay very often either. And if it would, it'd probably be close to 30 bucks I would say and most of these pages are blank 
but there are a few that are scribbled in. But still, nonetheless, I'm very excited to add this to my real Ghostbusters collection because this stuff is it's getting rarer and rarer and more and more harder to find. So. Next thing I came home with, couldn't pass on this one. It's a 95 Tops Embossed Hobby Box. This particular seller had a bunch of sets, boxes, a whole bunch of packs for a dollar a piece. And overall, I thought this one was the best deal for the $30. Um, it seems like they're around 50 or 60 now online. I opened a box of these a while ago, back when they were only 30 bucks. But I, I like to buy things like this when it's very affordable, and I add this to my um, unopened wax shelf. So I couldn't leave without that one. He had some other stuff too, like 94 Pinnacle. But 94 Pin Pinnacle was notorious for breaking up, so I left those ones behind. So those two things aside, the last things I have to share with you for the recap are just a bunch of singles. Um, I'm going to put these off camera so I don't give them all away. But the very first one, uh, Reese Hoskins Bowman rookie card. He's having a pretty awesome year. I don't didn't think I had this one, so I bought this since I really only go after Tops and Bowman rookie releases. Grabbed that one for 2 bucks along with this one, David Fletcher's rookie card. Didn't think I had that one. And I thought this was a decent buy, too. Luis Roberts 2020 Bowman rookie card for 3 bucks. Pretty sharp looking Robert, as well as this Boba Shet. I feel like you can't go wrong with buying a Boba Shet rookie for two bucks. Like that card, and I have several of, uh, of it already, but uh, for two bucks, couldn't pass on it. Was very stoked about this find. And uh, this is one I've had on my list for a while. I just don't really see it very often anymore. But it's a Tatis um, Bowman Chrome. And these were five bucks a piece. I'm like, I gotta buy both of those. That is a pretty awesome deal. I'm not really sure what eBay comps are, but I remember this was uh, going for a decent amount of money a while back, and these are in pretty sharp condition. So I was like, can't go wrong with buying the Tatis Bowman Chrome rookie cards for five bucks. And Cedric Mullins, another guy having a pretty awesome year. It's his Topps rookie flagship for two bucks. I didn't know if I had this one or not, so I figured I couldn't go wrong for that for two bucks either. And the same thing with this Jordan Alvarez Bowman Chrome from 2020. This was three bucks. And that was one I was pretty sure did not have. Corbin Burns, his Bowman rookie for a buck. One I wasn't going to pass on. And here's one that I don't think I ever saw before, but uh, had to grab it for three bucks. Garrett Cole's first Bowman. Thought that was pretty cool. That one up, as well as Rick Porcello. Um, I, this is one I was kind of iffy on. Um, $2 for his 2009 Tops. Had to add that to my rookie PC. Wasn't sure if I had it or not. And Adolis Garcia, he's having a pretty great year too. Two bucks for his Bowman rookie. Figure I had to add that one to my rookie box. And how can you pass on a Steven Strasburg rookie card for $2? I don't think that you can, but 2010 tops rookie of him for only two bucks. I will buy it every time. Garrett Cole's 2013 Bowman rookie card. That one was $2. Couldn't pass on that one. Gary Sanchez Bowman Chrome. This is one I was almost positive I didn't have. I think this was like three bucks or something like that. Add that to the rookie box. And another one I was positive I did not have either. Cody Bellinger's Bowman Chrome rookie from 2016. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Couldn't go wrong with the Bowman Chrome Bellinger rookie for only 10 bucks. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing that I picked up was, or your favorite thing about the video was overall. I love to hear from you guys, and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow night with a recap of the Columbus Toy Show. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys.